old Khanzorisk must be preserved and protected as the largest museum of antiquities, Marty Rosarian said. An entire village that is also a museum? We have to go see it. Let's go. Khanzorisk? Hmm, it's a strange name, I must say. Well, Khanzor is the Armenian word for apple. They say it was previously called Khorzor, a deep gorge, evolved into Khanzoresk. And I was looking forward to guzzling some apples, to be honest. <laughs> wow! I have never seen anything like this before. So it's a cave village. The houses look like they are multi-story cave blocks. The ones on the top, the villagers dug straight out of the cliffs. They have to be at least 30 meters high. How do you think they got to their homes? With flying saucers. <laughs> <laughs> or on flying rugs. <laughs> <laughs> they use thick ropes to climb their way up. They must have been very sporty, huh? There was no proper place for building actual houses, so the clever residents of Hanzores decided to use the caves. They seem to have later built houses by the cave entrances. The rooftop of one house became a yard for the one above it. Whoever guesses what Pertozi, Tsti, Chailuki and Taplak are will get an entire basket of Hanzores sweet apples. So? Are they fairy tale characters? Nope. Name of dishes? You seem to be hungry. Wrong answer. We give up. Does that mean we're not going to get any apples? Pertozi, Tsti, Chailuki and Taplak. Serve us some savory apples from Melikaz's palace. A magic spell. Absolutely not. Those are the hilarious names of four of Hanzoresk's 11 neighborhoods. <laughs> it looks like a stronghold. You're right. In the 1820s, this fortress was Mahitar Sparapet's military encampment. He is actually buried in a courtyard of one of the local churches. Should we search for the grave? This one is Saint Thaddeus. It's not here. This is Saint Ripsime. Not here either. That is a 9th century rock-cut church. The curtsying church of the desert. I found it! I wonder what crafts the villagers practice to earn their living. The people of Khanzoresk used to be skilled smiths, armorers and carpet makers. They also had great eshiks. Alas... What happened? Did it occur to you that Martyr Sarian's exhortation that old Khanzoresk must be preserved and protected as the largest museum of antiquities? is not followed. True, they have built some awkward new structures and have even grotesquely remodeled the caves. We should keep working on that code of conduct. Add to the list. Do not disfigure monuments. Banning illegal construction. Littering the area. We have already added that, but it's worth restating. And now, we can start planning our next stop. 